What's something people don't know about the Great Fire of London? It all started with a tiny flame. Let's find out more. The year was 1666. London was a bustling city with narrow streets and wooden houses. One night, a small fire started in a bakery on Pudding Lane. But guess what? That Strong winds and dry conditions caused it to spread quickly. The wooden buildings caught fire like matchsticks. For four days, the fire raged, burning down over 13,000 houses, 87 churches and numerous public buildings, leaving 70,000 of the city's 80,000 residents homeless. Samuel Pepys, a notable diarist, documented the event in great detail. His account vividly conveys the chaos and destruction that engulfed London. As the fire approached his home, Pepys took measures to protect his valuables. He sent his money and silver plates away to a friend's house and famously buried a valuable round of Parmesan cheese and some wine in his garden to save them from the flames. Firefighting methods at the time were rudimentary, but the people of London were brave. Pepys played an active role in the efforts to control the fire. Leather buckets filled with water, often organized into bucket brigades, were also used, though this method was largely ineffective against such a large fire due to the limited water supply and the intensity of the flames. Leather fire helmets were also used by firemen to protect themselves from the blaze. Starbeck Education offers some amazing artifacts from the Great Fire of London and other periods of history to aid teaching. Pepys reported to King Charles II and the Duke of York about the fire's progress and advised on the drastic measure of pulling down houses to create fire breaks, which was one of the few effective methods to stop the fire's spread. The rebuilding process led by Christopher Wren brought about significant architectural advancements. Wren's most famous work, St Paul's Cathedral, was redesigned with a magnificent dome, which became a defining feature of London's skyline. The design incorporated elements of the Baroque style and advanced structural engineering, making it an architectural masterpiece completed in 1710. He was also responsible for designing 51 new churches throughout London, with wider streets and more public spaces being at the forefront of his design. Fire-resistant material was also of paramount importance during the rebuild. The disaster taught valuable lessons about health and safety, leading to improved building regulations and fire prevention measures. So next time you see a tiny flame, just think it might have a big story to tell. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit our website for a plethora of artifacts to aid teaching.